Mostly, FileMaker scripts can be considered linear. In general, they work through the steps one by one, from top to bottom. But there are a couple of ways that you can alter that behavior. One way to change it is by setting up a condition for a group of one or more steps so that they'll only be performed if the condition is met. And perhaps you might include an alternative set of steps that will only be performed if the condition isn't met. You do that by including the if command along with the endif command to mark the conclusion of the conditional sequence. And if you have an alternative set of commands that are to be performed only if the condition isn't met, you'll want to also include an else step, or perhaps an else if step. The sequence goes like this. First, you put the if command into your script. An if always requires a corresponding endif further down in the script to complete the conditional part of the sequence. So FileMaker inserts an endif command automatically whenever you add an if command, as it did here. The else command is optional, as is the else if command, and it's for cases where you want to specify more than one possible alternative set of steps. By way of example, let me show you how to set up this view authors listing script to do different things in different circumstances. Suppose we want the script to be able to behave differently so that instead of showing us a list of all authors, as it does at present, it can be made to show only authors who have books published by the same publisher. So, for example, if we were on the record for Jane Austen in the author's form layout, we might want to see a list of other authors published by Penguin Books. To do that, first we'd need a condition, so I'll move the if step up to the top of the script. For the sake of the example, I'm going to be a bit tricky here and make the script behave differently when the shift key on the keyboard is held down while the script runs. So for that purpose, I'm going to use the calculation function get active modifier keys. This particular function returns a 1 if the shift key is being depressed. So the expression get active modifier keys equals 1 will return a true result, meaning that the condition has been met, if the shift key is down. However, sometimes the user may have the caps lock key on, and the caps lock contributes a 2 to the active modifier keys result. So when the shift key is held down while the caps lock is down, get active modifier keys returns 3. So I actually want to test for both conditions. Now, the test get active modifier keys equals 1 or get active modifier keys equals 3 will return true, or in other words, the condition will be met if the shift key is held down with or without the caps lock being engaged. Now that I've set the condition, I'll click OK and you can see that the condition is specified in the script definition. Next, I'll insert an else step. So now, the steps that were previously the entirety of this script will only be performed when the shift key isn't held down and therefore when the condition isn't met. And I'll need to add the steps that I want performed when the condition is met in between the if step and the else step. For this, I want to use a technique that will enable me to filter the list, that is the list of authors, according to publisher, based on the publisher or publishers for the current author. So first of all, I'm going to use the go to related record step and clicking the Specify button, I'll choose the Publisher's Table Occurrence. I'll need to specify a layout, and in this case there's only one layout based on the Publisher's Table Occurrence. And I also want to show only related records based on the current record, that is the record that we're starting from in the Authors Table. That'll take me to a list of publisher records for any publishers who've published books for the current author. Now, to get to authors who have books published by the publishers for the current author, I'll need another go to related record command. And this time, I need to get related records from authors. And so I'll need to choose an appropriate authors layout, in this case, authors listing. I'll need to show only related records. And I'll need to match all the records in the current found set that is, all of the publisher records that resulted from the previous go to related record step. Finally, I'm going to move the go to record request page step outside the conditional sequence. So that last step will be performed regardless of whether the condition was met or not. 
So in either case, we'll end up on the first record of the group of records that appear on the author's listing layout. With these changes, I'll save the script, close the edit script window, close the manage scripts window, and now I'll test out the script. First of all, I'll perform the script in the normal way. And as before, you can see that the script takes me to the author's listing layout with all 21 records in the author's table showing, and it navigates to the first record. If I go back to the author's layout, and now holding the shift key down, select the script, I'm presented with a list of authors who have books published by Penguin Books, the publisher for the Jane Austen books that are listed as publications against Jane Austen in the database at present. If I select Anton Chekhov's record and navigate to the author's layout, you can see that the publisher for The Cherry Orchard, the only book in the database by Anton Chekhov at the moment, is Penguin Books. Similarly, if I navigate to Arthur Kersler's record in the author's layout, we can see that Penguin Books have published one of the books listed for Arthur Kersler also. So, with these changes, the View Authors Listing script now can perform two different kinds of operations, both of them taking the user to the author's listing layout, but via different mechanisms, so that when a particular condition is met, that is, if the shift key is held down, only authors who have books published by the publisher listed for the current author record will be shown, whereas in all other cases, all records will be shown, as was the case with the original script sequence. So with these changes, the script is no longer purely linear. That is, either the first pair of steps or the second pair of steps, but never both will be performed whenever the script runs.